Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys, I'm burning sage if you see that, um, I'm going to give you the daily for Monday, August 26, 2024. So if you are interested in a private reading because this is general, uh, just email me at dubdoesreadings at gmail.com. There's a list in the description box below of all different types of readings that, that I do offer definitely check it on out. Let's get into it here. What do we need to know, Spirit, for this coming uh, day, Monday, August 26, 2024? Well, you do have two major arcanas, the star here, so that's Aquarius, the strength, which is Leo, so you could be dealing with that. But I really, I don't go by the signs like I always say, but more. Uh, I go by the energy of it. So you're trying to stay strong to get this wish fulfillment, this wish that you have in the back of your mind here that you're manifesting is an even give and take, a new start in regards to love here. You are using your gift here in regards to using your intuition, feeling your senses kind of energy as well as throwing that out there to the universe for this to come into fruition, I feel. It's been a long time since you've seen this person, but by doing this, by manifesting, by staying strong, really throwing that out there. This wish will come true, I feel, with that sun. This will be successful in regards to some type of communication, okay? After lack of communication, lack of, uh, well, like ghosting energy here with that Ten of Swords energy. Now, the Queen of Swords does represent air sign energy, but regardless, she is known for kind of being protective of her heart kind of thing, having that sword kind of protecting, okay? Now, you could be watching what you're saying here, especially with that Ten of Swords right after that, but it's like a little bit of eggshells that you're work, walking on, feeling this energy of, well, I'm not going to be totally open, honest, yes, but open with my emotions. I'm just going to kind of communicate, see where this goes, okay? You're worried about rejection Again, I have to say again, only because there is this Ten of Swords. So that rejection would signify some kind of ghosting again that you're worried about here. And yeah, overthink. You, well, I wouldn't say overthinking, just thinking in general. But yeah, if you do overthink, you're just going to drive yourself a little crazy here with that nine, not literally, with that Nine of Swords here. But is this person legit is what this tells me. So take that time, really think about it. Uh, you know, logically speaking, but I feel like if you want to hear from them to keep on manifesting, to go into fruition, you hold that power for this new start. But when they do come in, you're going to be protective. You're going to hear them out kind of thing, but you're going to be a little worried if they are basically going to do this ghosting to you again. So take that time to really think about it, you know, on a calm level. Uh, so above and below, wishes, healing, energy after quite an ordeal of waiting for this. You're going to have to hear them out. That strength card with the sun, things can be improved here, but you're really going to have to have that inner strength to hear what they have to say. I do feel that they're going to be successful with this for that even give and take with the six of pentacles and the six of wands. Something could have happened in the month of June, six months ago, six days ago. I'm not really feeling the six days ago. Sorry, I had a tickle. Uh, but definitely very protected for this new start of how much that you do display, that you do talk, okay? But I feel that you just have to listen to your intuition. Uh, after lack of communication, don't let, um, you know, overthinking take place is what this tells me with the Queen of Cups here and the Ten of Swords. You do have in the outcome the tower, the seven of swords heading towards the tower. So you're really, really worried up in your head, thinking, trying to be logical here, but you would be destroyed if they would do this again to you and not reach out again, ghosting here. So just kind of think things through uh, is what I feel. So, but that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Lots of different messages right there. Uh, but definitely manifestation really does work, okay? So, but it's kind of like, think about uh, like the following step. You're doing the right thing if you want them to come back, absolutely. But there's going to be like a decision made by you of whether or not I brought this person back through my good, man you know, uh, manifestation skills here. Now, what do I want to do? You know, so that's what I feel this message is all about. So, 
that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Uh, no story times. I've, I've heard a lot of comments about the story times, but yeah, I love telling story times. And it's good to know that you guys are enjoying the story times too. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe as well as smashing that like button. It definitely helps out my channel and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.